Okay, so a question I get asked all the time is, why doesn't my band have a booking agent? And this is a huge question for bands on the independent level because they're trying to connect with agents, they're trying to grow their fan base, they're trying to play shows in new places, etc., etc., etc. For so many of us, live music is really the thing that we're emphasizing, right? Cool. Well, here's why you're not playing shows in new places. There's no demand for your band. When there's no demand for what you're doing, why should a booking agent who frequently works on a percentage come help you out? You know, because if you're getting 100 bucks a night, they're gonna be working for, to put together a 10 day tour, they're gonna be paid $100. And yeah, some agents do, you know, take a, a larger cut or they do take um, a retainer and that's cool too. But they do that because there isn't high demand for what you're doing, right? If there's no demand, why should they care? I can tell you from experience, an agent is gonna wanna work with you a hell of a lot more if you show them a reason to work with you. So if you can become the regional force worth 50 people in five cities in your state, then suddenly you can contact an agent with that for a slightly bigger band and say, hey, your band's normally 200 tickets, we'll bring you an extra 50 people every night. And they're gonna wanna work with you, right? And then you get another regional opening slot and another regional opening slot, that turns into a national thing, right? When you grow your regional following, when you grow your following in sort of the underground community, people pay attention and they take note and they wanna work with you more. It's really not more complicated than that. It's so many people overthink it and try to come up with big pitches, etc., etc. but it's the same reason a label link is gonna sign you if there's no demand. No one cares, and if no one cares, why should they invest money in a product where you haven't shown you're going to work your face off? Every band in the world will tell an agent or a manager or a label they'll work really hard once they get the deal. That doesn't work that way. You need to show that you're gonna work really hard now and then hope that that turns into deals for you down the line. One of the things I like to um, remind people is that one of the best ways to do business and to get good offers is to wait for the music industry to come to you, not vice versa. When you're going out begging, you're just kind of coming from a place of weakness and hurting yourself, right? Now, it doesn't mean don't try to connect with people, don't try to make friends with people. Absolutely do. Absolutely try to show the value you're bringing, get new opportunities for your band. But also, if you're out begging for everyone to hook it up, after a point, people are just going to think, oh, that guy's just always out there begging for people to hook it up. He's not going to actually do anything meaningful. Because again, you're not showing the demand. You're not showing, why should a booking agent care about me? Am I really drawing enough people that I can get paid every night enough for a booking agent to go, well, fuck, this is something I want to be involved with, or am I not? Do I still need to grow my brand, my band, etc., etc.? This is the differentiating factor. This is the thing people don't get, is when you're not pushing brand that way, and when you're not showing, oh, look, we have a draw. Oh, look, we're a real life band. Oh, look, we know what to do on the road. This is another big thing. It's booking agents don't want to sign bands who are going to be fucking annoying at venues, which happens all the time. The agent signs a band, the band are assholes in real life, you know? show you have the experience when the experience becomes clear when the hard work becomes clear it will pay off because people will see oh this is a band who i can work with who are going to bring value to my other bands you know when i book package tours they're gonna bring value to me in the terms of making me money and it'll be good if you can't show that then you're not ready for an agent general rule of thumb if you're not worth 50 people at home if 50 people you know in your city don't want to come see you you're not ready to tour anywhere beyond regionally build the home market grow from there Use that leverage to show agents that you're the real deal. And that will lead to a hell of a lot more opportunities as you try to expand your role down the road, get more opening slots, get more pro tours, etc., etc., etc. Thank you for watching.